Oh, I was wrong, guys. These are not tomatoes. I'm just so confused. Hmm. I'm gonna get in like my zen mode and think. Hey guys, it's Jen at Sunshine Farm and today I have a little bit of a fun video to share with you. I am participating in a secret gardener seed challenge with a few different channels. Heather and Kevin put together this challenge there at Bare Bottom Acres. And they did such a fun job, guys, just putting this all together. The seeds came in these awesome little packets that are labeled Secret Gardener Seed Challenge. I have no idea who these seeds are from. So I have seven seeds in this little packet right here. And my goal is to guess what the seeds are from instructions on how to grow them, um, but without knowing what the seed is and the variety is ahead of time. And then I have this little chart, this handy dandy chart that I can fill out for my guesses for each type of seed. And then at the end I'll find out if I was right about any of them or none of them. I think this is a really fun experiment, not just to engage with other channels here and to follow along with what they're doing with this fun challenge, but also I think it's a really great lesson to be able to understand seeds, how they grow, why we plant them when, without having the label attached, I think is a really good tool to have as a gardener. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the instructions for the seeds. Let's take a look at seed number one. Seed number one, it says to sow from early spring to midsummer, space seeds an inch apart, about 15 to 20 seeds per feet. So guys, I have a pretty good idea that these might be carrot seeds, but I'm gonna go ahead and open up the packet and take a look. Seed number one has got to be carrot seeds. They're a little bigger than I'm used to seeing, but I'm guessing it's a bigger variety. I'm going to go ahead and guess that they are purple dragon carrot seeds because I know it's a popular one. Seed number one, you're a carrot. Okay, seed number two, ooh, I think I know one per square foot, blocks not rows, corn. That's my guess, is that this is corn. Ooh, this is gorgeous corn. Guys, right, it's purple. Just gonna go ahead and write down purple corn. That's my best guess. Seed number three. So these have got to be a pole bean because it says in the instructions that they require support, which means that they need something to hold on to as they grow up. Huh, what kind of beans? I haven't seen them before. Maybe it's a noodle bean. Could be a noodle bean. I'm just gonna write down noodle bean. Okay, seed number four, peppers. These have got to be peppers. Yep, transplant after last frost. I'm going to go ahead and guess that these are jalapeno peppers. Why I'm guessing that? I don't know, just feel like guessing jalapeno peppers. It's a popular pepper. I don't have any, so it'd be great if they were. They could also be like a serrano pepper, which looks very similar. Seed number five is also start indoors, transplant after last frost, 24 inches apart. And I'm going to go ahead and guess that these are tomatoes since it says to plant 24 inches apart instead of the 18 to 24, which would be more along the lines of peppers because they're a little bit smaller. Oh, I was wrong, guys. These are not tomatoes. I'm just so confused. Hmm. I'm gonna get in like my zen mode and think. I'm thinking this is a brassica seed. I'm thinking this is either cauliflower, broccoli, or Brussels sprouts. So it says to plant them 24 inches apart, which makes me think they need a lot of room. Brussels sprouts need a lot of room. I'm gonna go ahead and guess Brussels sprouts. Guys, I am so stumped about these seeds because it says to transplant them out after the last frost, which confuses me because brassicas are cold tolerant, so they can be transplanted before the last frost. Ugh. I do not know what these are, but I'm still going with Brussels sprouts even though they're probably not. So seed number six, second to last one. So outdoors, one to two weeks after last frost, or indoors in plantable pots three to four weeks prior to last frost. Germination seven to 14 days with soil temp of 72 to 75 degrees, four to five seeds per hill spaced four feet apart in all directions, thinning to three best plants. These really confuse me 
because I would have sworn that this would be like watermelon or pumpkins, but it's just the tiniest little seed. Super small. Kind of looks like a strawberry seed. It looks like a strawberry seed. I have no idea how you start strawberry seeds, so that could be very well how you start strawberry seeds. I'm looking forward to seeing hear, hearing what you guys say about it. I have no clue on that one. Just putting strawberry. Strawberry, strawberry. One more packet, guys. What do you guys think this one's gonna be? This one says to start inside now, transplant after last frost. 24 inches apart, will need support. My first guess on this one is that this one will be tomatoes. Yeah, these are tomato seeds. I can tell because they have the like the fuzzy outer edges. I have no clue how to recognize specific kinds of tomato seeds from each other. They all look the same to me, but they're not tiny tiny, so I'm gonna go with a bigger tomato, and I'm gonna go ahead and guess Brandywine tomato. I believe I am supposed to guess who sent me the seeds. We have Our Organic Life, The City Stead, Green Dream Project, Little White House, and Bare Bottom Makers who started the challenge. I'm going to guess that Josh from The City Stead sent us these different types of seeds. So I'm going to go ahead and add my water to my soil, mix it up, put the soil in the little six packs and get some of these seeds started. My friend Rose says, too dry and it will die. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my six packs filled with some soil. I'm gonna label them four, five, and seven. start with number four. As you can recall, this is the seed that I guessed was peppers. And I have exactly six seeds, so I can plant one in each cell. Number five. These were the ones that I thought were Brussels sprouts, but they could be any kind of brassica. Lesson being, I have no idea. Okay. Number five is empty, and now it's time for the last one that's going to be transplanted. And that one is seed number seven, which I am pretty confident are tomatoes. Very confident that these are tomatoes. Six seeds here, so I'm gonna go ahead and plant all six. Here's to hoping at least one of those, of each of those six packs germinates, but I'm all done with those. Thank you for joining me for this super secret gardener seed challenge for the first episode where I open my seeds, I plant the seeds, and I make my first guesses. Stay tuned for the next episode in this challenge where I will be taking a look at the germination for the seeds that I planted. Can't wait to share this with you guys. It's really fun for me. I love connecting with other people and, and seeing what surprises me along the way. Hey everybody, this is Eric for The Little White House and I am getting ready for the 2019 Secret Gardener Seed Challenge.